Hey what's up guys it's Aptix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new Winlater A Mode 10.0 an open source windows emulator for android which is focused on providing the best performance possible out of any windows emulators that are actually available right now now Winlater A Mode is a fork version of the normal Winlater android but with more performance than ever before that's what we'll be checking out i'll be showing you guys the setup gameplay as well as best settings so before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel let's get started all right guys to get started i have already added this brand new version of winlater a mode on my android device but before we start setting it up let's first take a look at what winlater a mode actually is and the change log of the newest versions of winlater 10.0 a mode so basically in the winlater 10.0 a mode 5 fix which was the first version of winlater 10 a mode lot of huge changes were made for example default turnip driver fix qualcomm snapdragon processors below 8 elite so even if you have snapdragon 7 gen 3 7 s gen 3 etc you won't face any issues even if you are using turnip graphics driver this is one of the biggest updates but unfortunately still you can't really use the turnip graphics driver if you have snapdragon 8 elite processor after switching to vertex you need to create a new container along with that updated components like the box 64 dxvk etc fix crashing issues remove glipsy mounted fonts to solve the problems of blurred font in most games why 9.16 has been provided along with that new decoder has been added to fix video playback problem in few games other special modifications then joining that another version of winlater a mode was released which, which replaced zinc along with that fix some internal changes now winlater a mode is completely open source just like the official winlater android and its minimum requirements are also same as winlater android once the beginning setup has been completed we can now start setting up this emulator now unfortunately some parts of this emulator will be in a different language but don't worry it's not a big deal let's go to settings and here make sure to choose the box 64 version as 0.3.5 the latest version you can also import other versions of box 64 including the 3.5.5 which is the latest one so support for adding new box 64 versions have been provided afterwards in terms of preset we'll set it to performance duplicate it and make sure to set the save flags level to zero once that has been done tap on the tick mark for the internal settings and now we'll start creating a new container Screen size can be set from 360p all the way up to 1080p resolution. For today's video, we'll be going with the 854 by 480p resolution. In terms of graphics driver, you get three options. Turnip Adreno driver has been fixed for all Snapdragon processor Android devices except for Snapdragon 8 Elite. So I guess including Snapdragon 4 Gen 2. 6s gen 3 7s gen 3 i guess all of that might be fixed in terms of turnip configuration you can choose it by tapping on this button afterwards make sure to select the latest mesa turnip adreno driver which is the 25.2.0.1 so you can select it tap on ok afterwards it will be added successfully you can also select max device memory as well as sync every frame etc but in terms of graphics driver, we'll be going with Votec instead. So here we'll just go ahead and choose the Votec graphics driver and Votec graphics driver settings have also been added, which means that you can use Votec graphics driver in Winlater A mode even on Mali GPU Android device. So it includes the latest fixes from the official Winlater 10.0 final. Once that has been done, we'll enable Pulse Audio, DX Wrapper is DXVK or import new ones. Once that has been done, we'll go to the advanced section here. Set the box 64 preset as performance, startup selection as the last one, afterwards Windows version as Windows 7 or Windows 10 depending upon the games that you are playing. You also get a lot of environment variables but it is recommended you don't really change anything here. You can go to drives and make sure to add your directory of games like I have done afterwards simply create your brand new Winlater A mode container. Now we'll just go ahead and press on the play button and start up our windows emulator container and finally test out how well does this version of winlater android work on our android device. So here we go, you will immediately notice that the container of winlater is in a different language. That's the only negative point of this emulator other than that it is fully functional just like winlater android. You also get fixes for example audio fixes as well as dxvk d3d versions which you can change. So a lot of options have been provided but I recommend you guys to keep everything as default. In Internal changes have been made so that your games work very well inside the winlater a mode so here i'll just cut and double tap on gta 4 that is the game which we'll be testing out in today's video so let's toggle full screen if we can get 50 to 60 fps on my android device in gta 4 by the way few brand new features have also been added if you swipe back you will be able to see you get the extras option where we have rotate screen as well as picture in picture mode now we won't be using both of these 
because we don't want to rotate our screen. Nonetheless, you also get screen effects where you can literally adjust the colors of the game. Nonetheless, we'll keep everything as default because we'll be trying out Grand Theft Auto 4 in today's video. So let's just cut and tap on the play button. As usual, we'll go to settings and make sure to downscale all the graphics settings in GTA 4. The FPS which I am planning to get inside this game is about 40 to 60 FPS. That should be the case, but let's find out if it works even better than that. So I'll just cut and apply the best settings. Afterwards, we'll go back and start a brand new game. So immediately after just few seconds of loading, you'll be able to see our game has successfully started. Now as the device which I am using has a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor, there might be some graphical issues once the game actually starts. Well, no guys, there are no graphical issues as you'll be able to see. Just take a look at this, we are playing the original GTA 4 on our Android device and it is super smooth. At the top left corner, you'll be able to see we are getting solid 60 FPS while emulating Grand Theft Auto 4 on our Android device. Now the virtual gamepad on-screen touch controls are completely trash in this version of WinLater Android as you guys know. We are getting really amazing amounts of performance without a single graphical issue. So let's try to complete the first mission of GTA 4 and I'll be back. As you guys will be able to see, we are getting more than 100 FPS while emulating GTA 4 on our Android device inside the WinLater A mode. So just take a look at how smoothly it's actually working. This is completely surprising. We never thought the day would come where we'll be able to emulate games like Grand Theft Auto 4 at such amazing level of performance. So even in open world areas, we are getting stable 50 plus FPS. Now this is the type of Windows emulation experience which we were talking about since a very long time where we'll be able to play our favorite AAA PC titles on our Android devices at very amazing performance. So just take a look at how beautiful this game looks even at low resolution. But unfortunately there is an issue where if you touch anywhere on the screen except for the controls, your screen view will move around like crazy. Other than that everything is being rendered properly and this is the most amazing Windows emulation experience that we have seen till now. So that's going to be it for today's video guys. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.